Hello! So, welcome to my page or channel, whatever platform you are watching this on. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch it. Uh, today I'm going to be talking to you about my Courtney Uniwigs Human Hair Topper. This topper is a piece that I've had for a long time now, I think maybe three to four months. I was kindly gifted it, obviously in exchange for an honest review. Instead of going down the route that most people do, which is an unboxing, I decided to wear this piece for quite some time, see how it holds up against the elements, styling, uh, washing, all those kind of things, because I think that that information is truly beneficial for potential customers who want to purchase this piece and for us hair loss sisters who are obviously trying to search for a solution for our unfortunate hair loss. I'll jump right in then and tell you a bit about this piece. You may have already heard about this particular topper. I believe it is seven by eight. I'm gonna check that though because I'm not 100% sure. But I know seven's in there, definitely. <laughs> so it's one of these fully wefted caps, as you can see. However, it just has the additional mono part there, which is for, obviously, to give you that realistic parting. I was a bit dubious about this piece because I thought, are you going to be able to see all the wefts all the time? But you really, really can't. It's really cleverly done. Like, I don't know if you can see the back there. And if I just kind of... If I even pull the pieces apart, like you really have to dig in there before you get to sort of seeing any wefts. So it is a mono top, which obviously it isn't as realistic as a silk top piece, but it's pretty good. And as you, as you can see on my previous videos, I've showed you how to make it look more realistic. And there are oodles of videos out there to show you how to do that as well. It is in the colour espresso brown and my piece is 16 inches long so i've straightened this for this video because i have just washed it and as you can see it's still shiny it's not as soft as the day i got it i must admit but it held up really well after washing i have nothing but good things to say about this piece you know it's not the most amazing hair quality as some of the toppers that are out there we know that uniwigs is a budget brand let's move past that you know you're not going to be getting like super duper amazing quality euro grade hair but you are getting a really really good grade hair for the price the topper is insanely flat and it has four clips obviously you can add more if you want take them out add a comb that options are endless i choose to wear mine slightly different this is probably one of the things that i think you guys will find a little bit more unique some people do use this technique so this is hairdressers velcro and you can buy it on amazon in packs or ebay anywhere what i do is i get a piece like this and i just cut it in half so once you've cut it you'll have two pieces like this so what i do is i don't sew anything in i just take it okay it's hard to do on camera pop it into where the clip is like that and then just clip it shut now obviously i don't want to go over this line here because you'll be able to see it so i'm just going to go ahead and put it on the other side now off camera because it can be quite difficult. So as you can see now, I've got the two pieces of Velcro there just held in by the clips. Dry shampoo, always use dry shampoo with my toppers to help secure it. Slippy fine hair does not hold a topper well, ladies. So. A little rub in, it just adds a bit of texture, a bit of grip for you. Then I take the topper, Get my hair sorted. Give me one second. And we flip it back. I'm going to just line it up with my mirror behind here. Hope you guys can see. And then I just push down where the Velcro is. Sometimes it's a little bit prickly, but you don't feel it when it's on and you're wearing it. Just kind of get that on there nice. And then I've affixed the back two clips. OK, 
Okay, I'm just going to have a little mess with this part in, pull some hair out. So, if I can just zoom in there, you can see how flat that sits, like it is literally flat. <laughs> and I'm not I'm not a blender. I see a lot of people doing a lot of, you know, pulling the hair out and it goes over um, you know, that kind of thing. Um, I don't think that really suits me. So yeah, I'm kind of pull it in, tuck on my bio hair under, hair behind the ear. That's me. That is most certainly me. And this goes behind the ear so effortlessly, like I just love it. Probably all wondering, is that topper secure? So if I just get like the back here and give it a good tug, like it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere the same as it wouldn't as if I'd put all the clips in. In fact, this actually sits it's more secure than some of my other toppers that I use the clips on. It's kind of covering all of this area here. And the clips sit around about here on my head the back so it's a really really good coverage now i just oh i just love this topper so much and i wear it out like for best if i'm going on a night out it's the topper that i go to because it's so flat it's so secure it's really light and airy the hair just stays nicely with my silk top i find that i'm always like this you know everyone knows what a silk top does it always falls forward it's just part and parcel of it but because this is wefted the hair just stays where it's meant to be and you don't get that hair in your face constantly which means that this piece is more versatile for me I can have more styles one other amazing thing about this piece is it's because it's so flat and not bulky it's amazing amazing for hats so if you want to accessorize you know it's coming to autumn big hats like Uh, amazing let's have a look oh oh yeah i feel like a diva i could not rock this in town like you can wear it in summer as well i did actually get it for summer but it's kind of autumny too you know with it being straw but it's just it looks so cool hello <laughs> um and yeah you don't get like horrendous hat hair obviously if you're starting to become a little bit insta famous now and you need to avoid the parts good old baseball cap oh that fits perfect there's another thing i'm loving about this and that is headbands now you've probably seen on my instagram grid um me out and about wearing this piece so I keep this behind my ear and then pop it up. As you can see, it kind of brings out your bio hair there and I do tend to pull down just there. How freaking cute is that? So yeah, it's really, really good for accessorising, which is just a total plus for me. It is so versatile. I've been able to do so many more things with it than I have with other toppers. So I'm going to show you how I style it on a daily basis. I like the hair out my face, hence why I'm always tucking it behind my ear. But if I don't want to deal with it falling out from behind my ear all the time, I go to my simple pretend twist braid. So I pull out some hair out the front. There, making sure it comes over the hairline bring it up i always use my comb bring it up here like a piece like this twist it get my comb again this means you get a neat line rather than if you use your fingers so if you just it's a bit fiddly but it works and just twist now i grab one of these long clips because you don't want to be jabbing the wefts with pins so i want to clip it underneath the actual edge of the topper so that starts about here if you can see so i need a long clip for that because it's got to go all the way up under 
I can just neaten that up. Then what I tend to do is just pull this bit here down so that you can't see the edge of the topper. And then I also grab another bit here just to pull more off the face. Twist that up, swing it around that clip that's already there. And then for extra support, and this is just through the hair and the clip, not the topper, just to keep that in place. And voila, my absolute favourite hairstyle with this. Now if you can see, but you can't see any of the cap, just my hair, it looks very natural. And I think it kind of gives you that feeling that you want less people, I know like we shouldn't really care what other people think but a lot of the time when people are wearing toppers they're really scared that people think that they're a topper or a wig but if you have a piece like this and you are lifting it away from the face and you can see like an actual natural by your hairline who's going to question that like nobody is nobody would anyway but nobody's going to question that it looks completely natural and i've been out and about in town with friends I haven't seen for ages, strangers, everything. No one's ever said anything about this piece. And even with a mono parting, which as you can see there, nobody has said anything. It looks so natural. My partner says it's the most natural one that I've got. I absolutely adore how it feels on my head. It's incredibly comfortable. I love the hair, it feels great. The price point is obviously a blessing. All in all, it's definitely like an eight, nine out of 10 for me. The only thing that I would could probably say is, and, that, and it's not really a negative, it's just the hair quality obviously will not stand the test of time like some other pieces. So you probably would have to buy, you know, for, for for every one you buy of a really good quality hair, you're probably going to have to buy two of these. But for all its other benefits, I can live with that. I'm just sad that I won't get it for as long, you know what I mean? But keep, you know, don't wash it too regularly. Make sure you use really good sulfate-free products. Take good care of it when brushing and styling, you know, low heat, it's heat protectors. I tend to give my toppers a trim maybe every eight weeks and that is literally the most tedious job I ever do in my life but to protect your investment I cannot recommend it enough I literally sit there with it on a mannequin head and I pull it apart and I chop all the dead ends that I can see off I mean it's brutal it takes a long time your eyes go funny but it's so worth it because it gives it a new lease of life and it lasts so much longer. Those split ends aren't going to spread all the way up the hair and just look awful. So before I go, I will do what I always forget to do and that's show you the back. Spin her out. So hopefully you can see the back there and if you pull it, you'll be able to see kind of when it starts there so yeah amazing this is the truth when this piece has had its time i will be purchasing another one with my own money without a doubt i love it it's one that i will always have in my wig wardrobe thank you very much i'm fully dressed for the day now so i'm gonna go out and enjoy myself say goodbye to me and courtney <laughs>